Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this session, we will learn how to fix missing MSI, MSP file issue in SQL Server. This is often observed, very, very often observed issue and SDBA, you should know how to troubleshoot it. Okay, so you can see here, I have SQL Server patch files, KB files, KB 500 something something. Okay, and uh, I want to install this KB. For this, I'll just click on run as administrator. Okay, and you can see when I run it, it is uh, first unpacking. Okay, so let's see that. Then it is starting, you can see, and it is starting for SQL Server 2022. Okay, so let's wait a little. Here we go. So you can see SQL Server setup failure. SQL Server Setup has encountered the following error. The cached patch file, this MSP file, is missing. Okay? So, this is called missing MSP, MSI file. Sometimes you, you can see MSI, sometimes you might face MSP, you know, different, different files might be missing. And these files, as you can see, is located in C, Windows, Installer, folder let me show it to you so what for this i'll go to c windows from here it is not visible for that you just uh, do like this in installer and if you enter you can see different msi and msp files let me make it more with extensions right you can see right so different MSI and MSP files. So this error is saying for some reason, one of the most important MSP file is missing. So therefore our setup is failing. So how to resolve this issue? For this, uh, first I'll go to uh, SQL missing. If you search missing MSI issue and you will get to that uh, Restore missing MSI cache files documentation by SQL Server. And if you go scroll down a little bit, okay, it is written like step by step solutions in this documentation. And first, it is saying repair SQL Server installation. Yes, you should repair first, but sometimes repair cannot resolve this issue. So if repair cannot resolve this issue, what you should do? For that, you, you, you can use fix missing MSI tool, okay? So click on GitHub repository, right? And click on fix missing MSI and the latest net, okay, this one, click on it. Here we go. And uh, so it will download this tool, okay? So I'll go to my downloads and right click, extract and click extract, right? And it is downloading, okay? So now click on fix missing MSI, okay? And fix missing MSI tool, right? EXE, right click, run as administrator. Here we go, and, and click on scan now. Ah, okay, um, missing, please click to scan anyway. Okay, scan anyway, we will say first. Okay, so it will scan all default locations for missing MSI, okay? So here we go. So if you see that it is missing this, uh, this SQL engine core, something, something, uh, in MSP, and you can see cached MSI fi uh, file name, 484d16.msp. It is really matching to our uh, error, right? 484d16msp. Okay, so our tool identified already. Oh, this, this is missing, right? So let's try to understand this tool. So what is it giving us? So, so product name. What is this MSP file from? You can see it is from this KB506221. Okay. So this MSP is located in this KB file, okay, KB. Uh, and 
if you go to the left product code you can see and product package yeah different different and last used resource was here okay and if you go to the left you can see how to fix it okay there is no fix command so there is no any default uh, uh, for this so what what we should do for this okay so do not just blindly click on fix it so first i highly recommend okay to find this kb file okay this kb five something something two two one right this two two one so you should find this kb file so i already got this kb file downloaded uh this five zero six five two two one okay so what i will do is i will unpack this one okay run as administrator okay so you can see it is unpacking in okay okay uh, it is asking to stop this current setup okay i'll stop it okay and let me stop that one so i stopped so again let's try to unpack so it is unpacking to see something 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 yeah okay so it is unpacked okay then i go to this pc and c disk if you go to this location you will see unpacked uh, folders you can see different folders here and i just uh, my tool just unpacked this one this timestamp you can do 705 705 just this has been created when i clicked on that okay just it has been created so i can use this folder uh, what i'll do is um okay what i'll do i will click on it and you can see the files right so i will go to missing msi tool again look and click on file scan and here browse and this pc c disk and uh, what was our file this one right ef something something it was so let me double confirm it is ef something something right so exactly this is the one click ok ok and click scan now here we go now the same error message but this time you can see we have fixed command can you see fixed command let me a little bit show it to you fixed command Okay, fix command. Let me make it more visible. Okay. Copy, copy selected file. Let me show it to you with notepad. It will be much better. Notepad and click on it. And you can see here. What what does it doing? This tool is doing is to fix this issue what this tool is going it is just copying from our folder right this msp file to installer file okay so basically when you run this fix it right when you run fix it this tool will run this command and this command is just is just copying the msp msp file from this original kb file to installer location here okay got it so basically it's just you can just run it by yourself also in command prompt cmd this command or you can just uh, go back to your tool again right and click fix it okay and it is you can see just it is copying from this location to this click okay now it has been fixed right in other words this tool just runs this copy command got it right so now our missing msi issue got fixed let me try to patch it again right okay click okay that one 
Okay, I will go to my patching again. And here we go. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Now it's working. See? So to summarize, when you face missing MSI and MSP tool, be sh uh, you can just use this fix MSI tool. And uh, while using this fix MSI tool, you should be sure that you are correctly copying this KB. Yeah? You just know which KB file this MSI located, right? This, this KB, this MSI belongs to this KB, right? So I just downloaded this KB here, this KB, then run this tool, right? I just mm, put this and extracted this KB and put it here. And then I just run this fix command, fix it command. Then it just copy and paste this one, okay? In this way, we troubleshoot fix missing MSI issue, okay? But uh, sometimes this fix missing MSI tool even cannot resolve some issues, okay? There are many, many cases. There are many cases where MSI and MSP files are corrupted. So in those cases, this fix missing MSI tool might not help. And uh, in those kind of situations, you should also know how to deal with this kind of problem. And I will talk about uh, how to resolve such kind of issues in the next session. Thank you.